Okay guys, I have a previous video that shows you how to get an image into Fusion 360. So I'm not going to go over that. This video is going to show you how to create a cutout in the middle of your cookie. Um, so for this cutter, we're going to have the outline of the mask and the eyes will be cut out of the cookie. So we're going to start by making our sketch. Just the outline. Um, I don't want a whole lot of detail in here. I want to be able to make them however I feel like making them at the time. So I'm going to go kind of wide with my, with my cutter. Sketches don't always have to be perfect. You can take a little bit of creative liberties. Looks pretty good for me. Make our cutting edge. Flip it over and make our handle. This is covered in the previous video that I uploaded. So there we have our cutter and now we're going to make the eye shape so we'll get a new sketch so once you've finished your cutter you have your handles everything's been extruded you want to create a new sketch and create the shapes that you want cut out you can do more than one at a time you can do all of them you can do one at a time the process works the same if you need to repeat it totally fine Okay, that looks good. So once you've got your sketches of what you want cut out, uh, don't forget to create the cutting edge. So same process, offset, same thickness. So this time you would select all of the inner pieces that you want to be cut out at the same time, extrude them all at the same time, join, 
your operation is going to be joined and then this you need to use the same same thickness that you used for your other cutting edge so I always use the same so we just do 20 so now you've got your holes cut out so now we have to attach them to the rest of the cutter grab a new sketch again I like straight lines so I usually grab the straight line instead of the curvy line and you want to make sure that you're making your lines within the cutting edge so it's a very small area and you have to be very careful um, but you're going to put your start your uh, connector in here I like to make mine five millimeters across and you want to connect it to the cutting edge of the outside of the cutter you want to stay inside that small line there we go so there's one connection let's do another one on this side straight into the cutting edge there we go I don't like to leave them with just one it seems really flimsy to me so I'm going to connect it to the outside of the cutter over here make sure you can see both in your vision when you're creating the, the connecting piece uh, my fusion 360 has a hard time uh, zooming in and scrolling back out once I'm creating a, a piece there we go Don't be afraid to move it around a little bit if you've got a curvy piece. Just make sure that your line stays within the cutting edge and you don't go outside of the cutting edge at all because it will create a bump. So you want to make sure you stay in the cutting edge. There we go. So now both of my inside cutters are connected to my outside cutters with the sketch. So we're going to extrude that all four at the same time this is super important make sure your operation is join not new body not cut out nothing but join now for this piece you don't want this to be as thick as your cutting edge you just want it to be across the top of the cutter when you're pushing down I use uh, two millimeter as my distance seems to work pretty well It's less than the grasp, so shouldn't be cutting into the dough at all. There you go.